I don't know what to think of this New Rolling Stones album at all. This album is something else. It's crazy. <laughs> War intro. Hello, this is Jake Walsh for another YouTube video. If you're new here and if you like movies and music related content, that you're done, then click that subscribe button for future videos that I make and like this video. Today I'm going to be reviewing Rolling Stone's new album that was released on October 20th, last Friday, which is the Rolling Stone's Hackney Diamonds. Now here's a little history on the band. They were founded... In 1962, and they've been around, and then they, they are a London, England type band from UK, and they are a fantastic band. I enjoy the Rolling Stones. Is this album worth the hype? Is it overrated? I think this album is a little overrated, and and it's not really worth the hype, but that's just my personal opinion. This album is has the band members of the Rolling Stones, which is Mick Jagger, lead and backing vocal, vocals, guitar, percussion, harmonica on Dreamy Skies and Rolling Stone Blues, Keith Richards, guitar, bass, guitar, backing vocals, lead vocals on Tell Me Straight, Charlie Watts, drums on Mess It Up and Live by the Sword. Yeah, he's featured on this album. This is the first album without Charlie. The first album before Charlie, after Charlie Watts' death, but he's featured on those two songs. Ronnie Wood, guitar, bass, guitar, backing vocals. I think this is good. I think it's a good album, but it's not as good as people let it out to to believe. It's not as good as Some Girls 1978 or Tattoo You or any of those 70s albums. It's not that it's not that worth the hype type thing, but it is a good album, I think. We'll get to the tracks in a few minutes, but I'm going to get to what the cover looks like in a few minutes and show you what it looks like on the screen. I would say, so let's put the presents part on here and um, share screen where I'm going to show you what this looks like, sir. Here's what the cover looks like. I think it's a bit, a lot of people skip crap on this cover, but I enjoy this cover. I love the colors. I love the pink, the purple, the red hand. I enjoy this cover. Is it the best cover? No, but it's not terrible either. I think it's a fantastic cover for this album. I think it's a really good cover. So yeah, there's what the cover looks like for the Rolling Stone Technique Diamonds. I think it's a really great cover. It's really good, I thought. But anyway, this is a really good cover. So let's talk about the track, Sally. So let's pull up the tracks. Here's what the tracks are. The first song, it's all songs written by Mick Jagger and Keith and Keith Richards, except where noted. And this is, um, this has, a, the first track it starts off with is Angry, Get Ready to Start the Album Off. It has that um, Rolling Stones classic 70s sound, I will say. And I love the harmonies in this song and the melodies and stuff like that and the, and the, Stuff like that in the track two is Get Close, another classic sounding song by the Rolling Stones. I want to get close to you. 
I like that. It's written by um, Mick Jagger, Keith Richards, and Andrew Watt. And three, depending on you, which is the first acoustic love ballad on the album. It's all right. It's not my favorite on the album. It is the weakest one. And then here's where it gets interesting. Number four, Bite My Head Off, which is a fantastic song. It's one of those punk rock songs on the album. It's really great. It's the first song with, um, it's the song with, um, Paul McCartney on bass on this song. It's really good. And then five, whole wild world. I love the lyrics and the words in this song. It's a fantastic song. I like, I like the guitar playing in the very beginning, and then the vocals kicks in. Six, dreamy sky is a very boring song. I acoustic country sounding song. It's very, it's very boring. And my first I couldn't give it a listen because it was so boring. I had to change it to the next song, track seven, which is mess it up. It's just that disco sounding song. I think it's pretty good. Does it really fit the album? Probably not, but it is really good. And then eight lit by the Torrids, it has that it's a uh, it's only walking wool, but I like it type sound to the song. It's really good, and I and it also reminds me of the song T Rex by Get Get It On song. It kind of reminds me of that a little bit with the da 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 da. Kind of reminds me of that. And then nine driving me too hard, which is. An unbel- which is too forgettable in my personal opinion. And then 10, Tell Me Straight, which is a which is an okay song, which is sung by Keith Richards. And it's all right, though. I like his voice in this song. And then 11, Sweet Sounds of Heaven, which is the second single off them featuring Lady Gaga on vocals, singing, backing vocals type, type thing. And then Stevie Wonder on piano slash keyboards. It's a it's a really good song. I'm it's just missing a saxophone solo or a piano solo or a guitar solo. It kind of bugs me that there's none of that in that song. And does it need to be seven minutes and twenty two seconds long? No, but it's really good though. I will say that it has that gospel sound to it. I really enjoy it. Twelve Rolling Stone Blues, which is a cover of Muddy Waters, and I like her and Monica in it. Played by Mick Jagger. It's a really good song. It's a pretty good blues song. I enjoy it. So, yep, there's the track listing. So, um, this is what the critical reception says. Editors of any decent music aggregated this course from 13 outlets and rated this release a 7.8 and 7. out of 10. According to the review, I greater metacritic hackney diamond received generally favorable reviews based on a rated average score of 78. Out of 100 from 19 critics reviews, several critics have declared this is the band's best album in decades. Most assessments of the album are positive, aside from a negative review published by Pittsburgh. At the arts desk, Tim Cumming gave the five album five out of five stars for being 45 concentrated minutes of peak level Rolling Stones. It's, it is a good album, but it's not, I wouldn't agree with those critics. It's not. The best, I don't think it's the best album in decades, but that's just me. I apologize if y'all disagree, but let me know in the comments if you agree or disagree. What's your thoughts on the Rolling Stones, the um, Hackney Diamonds? I would greatly appreciate it. But anyway, it's a really good album, I thought. But is it worth the hype? Probably not. But I mean, that's just my personal opinion. And it has Steve Jordan on drums from Blues Brothers Band fame and Saturday Night Live Band fame, which I really like Steve Jordan on drums on this album. He sounds fantastic on this album. The production is pretty good, I guess, except for biting my head off, even though I enjoy the song. It's pretty, it's pretty, um, whatever you want to call it. It's hard to think of this album because... This is just my initial thoughts for listening to it three or four times on YouTube Music. But do you agree with me? Do you disagree? Let me know in the comments. I'll really appreciate it. So, yeah, there's my thoughts on this album. I'll really appreciate your thoughts on this album. I'll give this album a 6.5 out of 10. It's not the greatest of this album, but I will en- I do enjoy it from time to time. It is a good album from start to finish, but it's it just 
has a lot of mixed songwriters that it's competing against each other, like a, like the country, blues sounding songs, a disco sounding song. It just doesn't work and it's not coherent of an album, in my personal opinion. But that's just me. So let me know if you agree. Maybe I'm thinking too much into it, but let me know in the comments. I really appreciate it. This is Jake Walls and Nerdy Autism. So please stay nerdy. Peace.